Today we're going to make a three-point lanyard or a two-in-one lanyard from scratch. As I'm going to snug this up, get closer, I'll set my thimble. And there, I got it about right. It's about the right length I have. So here's the finished product, um, pretty much in the way we wanted it. Um, the th the three-point or two-in-one lanyard, um, customized to what we like. Uh, four wraps up. One, two, three and four, the uh, one leg, and I like to use the bottom part of a hitch climber pulley, and I'll connect the other leg, I'll get it all situated. Take the quickie off, and put it, actually, back onto the butterfly. Now remember, I'm gonna want to uh, have it this way. A simple choke. So what you'll wanna do is you'll go around the tree. <clears throat> and then, okay. Now I'll go ahead and grab this side and tighten it up. It's got rot all the way down on both sides, and also it has movement at the base. And then I'm gonna take it back to a smaller branch. Okay, so this isn't one of the better cuts, but what I'm gonna do is just reduce the length. So this will make it a little bit smaller of a branch. Oops. All right. Open crotch, and even that. When you're doing it, you want to find a wider crotch and something that's not so tight because as your rope goes through it, it binds on it. If it's a real tight crotch, it's not the best situation. Okay, so this is what a, a general rule of thumb about that thick. And then you throw this um, piece right through. And then you can just pretty much pick the ring you want. So you get your carabiner. Once you get it connected, you go ahead and pull it up. Oops. There you go. Real quick click. Send your ball back down. Then you're gonna connect your climbing line. Okay, got it. The ladder. So I have kind of a hang, so I'm moving away from the the palms though. I'm not really being hindered in any way. Put some slack in your line. Now this is your working end. So on your working end you're gonna find like a distance that you want for a pull. So for me maybe about a foot. So I'll make a clove in my line. It's connected to me already. So then I'm gonna get my carabiner here with my, my micro pulley and my carabiner. Now I got that set. Now what I'm gonna do is tighten up my clove hitch. Now what's good about the clove hitch is it cinches down and it doesn't let it run. There we go. And you just keep on walking up the tree. You have a, it'd be kind of tough to, uh, to get a, to get a, <laughs> around the tree. And now what you have is a, a little choking action where you can get it almost just like a, if you were doing a, a DDRT kind of a situation. But today what I wanted to work on is one that's a little bit smaller, a little bit lighter. Um, so that's what we're gonna do today, work on a smaller lander. Length that I want, tighten it up. And once I get that tight, I have that thimble in place and then I'll Bring it close, get it snug the way I want it. Okay, so that's what I want right there. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get this chisel and I'm gonna go to the end, other end of the rope and I'll put the big end on and I'll feed it all the way up to my knot. Okay, 
So now I got it to the knot here. Got so how that would work is, you know, that would be your stopper. So it won't allow it to go. But I, I'm not gonna have that. I'm just gonna have that clip on there just so I won't have the, the tail um, dragging on the ground when I'm walking. A, a Sonai, it's made that way. Really, really nice to use. It's really clean. Um, they make it in the factory. The, how they do that is they'll, they'll cut a portion of the cover off. They'll bring the inside and somehow they double it over. They bring it in. You can feel there's an area where it's really solid and then they stitch it. Now, I don't know the process of that, but that's a real proper way to do it. You know, you probably couldn't do a five wrap just because these legs are so short. Now for what, what I like about this is because the knot's going to be real close to me. When I move up, it's going to stay close. Um, I got short arms, so I really like that. So for this one, it's kind of small, so I'll just get the, the lopper. Let's see if I can just cut it with a lopper. Cut it here, and then here. Now what that's gonna do is just give me a little bit more room to dig. Go. There I go. Now I'm gonna get closer to the trunk. All right, there. there it is. So yeah, so I guess the biggest part was that one large root that I took out. All right. okay. To the strap down here. Okay. Normally, it would be around my whole foot. Any of that was pretty quick and easy. Yeah, it feels good. I don't have the pressure on the bottom of my foot to get to the top of you. I need your foot a little. Snap that off and then go back down. Talk about the rose family still. In the rose family, you have these trees. And I'll talk about three trees specifically. We've got pyrus, prunus, and mollus. Now in these genus, they are all in the same family, but each tree looks different. But they have a lot of the same characteristics. Um, even though they look different, they have a lot of characteristics that are in that same family. So you have pyrus, which is pear, prunus, it could be peach. Also mollus is crabapple. Now, if you go to each individual tree, definitely they do look different. I had some questions that were asking me about pressy cords and how can you create your own. Um, of course, you can buy pressy cords that are already made up. What you'll do is you'll make a bend in your line and then you'll wrap downward toward your bend. You go around twice and you'll put your tail through you pull the other parts of the line, and there you go. So this um, pressic loop is meant for, you know, if you like to do the foot locking technique, um, but it creates a loop, and it's not, it's a really good knot that won't come out on you, and it holds really well. Um, real quick, remember that uh, if you're doing any of this stuff, make sure you do it low and slow. Anyhow, I hope you guys liked that video. Comment, like, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you like what we do. And yeah, by all means, share our videos with your friends. All right, take care. We'll see you next time.